the next prize winner is going to be uh, for an outstanding contribution to new media. And uh, I, I think it's remarkable uh, that we do have some wonderful citizen journalists and others who actually represent the bloggers, the young people who, who, who really make our press, bring our press alive. So I'm going to call on Turi Munthi, who is, uh, Turi uh, is our, actually he was the founder of Demotix, which is the great citizen journalist website around uh, the, and, and forum, forum for citizen journalists. I'm going to call on Turi to present the next award. And if, if you could all be quiet for Turi. It's much, much easier to talk to half a room. Um, New media, as you all know, has been absolutely critical as a form uh, over the last 15, 16 months um, across everything that's happened with this so-called Arab Spring. Um, to such an extent that fools try to describe what happened as Twitter revolutions or Facebook movements, etc., etc. The most vulgar disrespect uh, for the many lives lost, physical lot lives lost, not virtual lives lost, across, across the region. But um, new media has been critically important over the last 15 months, specifically talking to MENA, North Africa, and the Near East. The person being honored this evening for their contribution to new media is doing precisely that job in part of the world which, because of the vagaries of printing schedules and audience participation, etc., etc., has slipped off our radar, monstrously slipped off our radar, which is Iraq. This, this person being honored is an extraordinary blogger who writes with humor and deep intelligence and analysis about complex, extremely complex problems across the entire Iraqi spectrum, political, civic, um, foreign policy, and others. He's also, and this I think is, is important, being honored for this award in new media, he's also an educator and has spent a long time with the extraordinary outfit called the Institute for War and Peace Reporting, um, which has been working in Iraq. So, I'm trying to see whether I have to, there's anything else to add here. But, um, I know, what, what there is to add here is the winner is. <laughs> We should all work together, government, opposition, and the media, in order to professionalize the standard of our work, to professionalize the security, and protect the fundamental freedoms of the, of the individuals who live in Iraqi Kurdistan. The judicial process in Iraq is sectarianized and politicized. Media outlets will start to think that media isn't just about propaganda, it is also about providing a service. The winner is Hugh Osman. tree branch, small olive tree in one hand, and the mobile phone in the other. It reminds me of President Yasser Arafat when he first uh, appeared in the UN General Assembly, but this time it's a mobile phone and uh, not a Kalashnikov. Thank you. That's the olive tree bit. <laughs> uh, as a citizen of what I call Facebook stand or Twitter stand. Uh, I don't know if I should speak first or tweet first. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, Lord uh, Stone. Thank you, everybody, for this for the nomination and uh, for.
for the award. It is a great honor to be a recipient of this uh, very uh, good award. I think our, uh, my fellow Iraqi journalists will, uh, will feel the recognition of this. This is not just for me. This is for my fellow journalists in uh, both uh, journalist colleagues in both Iraq and in Kurdistan. Uh, I usually find it very difficult. I usually have two hats, a Kurdish one and an Iraqi one. And uh, today I will try and speak, I'll try and wear both hats. Uh, we in Iraq and in Kurdistan are uh, embarking on a new journey, uh, a different uh, journey. In 2003, when we first were in, uh, moved to, to Baghdad with the troops, uh, I personally thought that it is going to be a very easy ride, an easy uh, transition to democracy and to, to all the uh, other values that comes with it. But uh, uh, the, the subsequent years proved that uh, it's very difficult. Uh, the, we still have a long way ahead. And uh, uh, today, in any conflict that I have watched in the Middle East, usually it starts with the soldiers, uh, or any transition starts with soldiers then the journalists who came with the soldiers stay for a while, then they leave too, and the bloggers stay, the bloggers and the local journalists. And I think this is where the stage where we are in Iraq. Uh, I was uh, kind of happy and sad at the same time, sad for the loss of the lives of, the, of our uh, journalist colleagues, and uh, happy not to see as many Iraqi, uh, as many people killed in Iraq as in the previous years. So I think this says something about the way we are heading. But we still are facing many problems uh, in Iraq in terms of going to where the majority of the people of Iraq want to go, especially in terms of freedom of expression and access to information and uh, freedoms of uh, internet and everything else. In Iraq, our parliament is, as we speak, discussing a few bills that if they were passed the way they are, it will be a catastrophe for freedom of expression, for the right to information, and uh, for journalism's future uh, in general. So I hope that uh, with the work of everybody uh, in this room and outside in the various institutions that you do not forget this vital issue of Iraq. Once in one of those uh, interviews I said, Baghdad has historically been a capital of culture and art in the Middle East. Hopefully. Today, we can make it a capital of freedom, true freedom and democracy in the Middle East. Thank you.